In this video, we're going to focus on one of the viewers' questions, which is how to add more than one chart in a single screen in Chart.js 3. All right, so this question might sound simple, but it, it applies something deeper. So first of all, let's look and let's give a special thanks to, this was one of the videos where the viewer was watching, which was the Chart.js beginner tour tutorial. And here, Diego, special thanks to Diego, for asking this question. He says the following, thank you for the video. Do you know if it is possible to add more than one chart in a single screen? I'm trying to do it and I find that the first donut chart appears but the second one doesn't. All right, very good question. And yes, it is possible. It's absolutely possible to add multiple charts in Chart.js in one single page. So let's start and do this and then I will explain as well what is really the issue here. So this really implies not a uh, understanding of how to create a chart, but understanding the fundamentals of Chart.js. So let's make one chart first. So I'm here right now on Chart.js 3, and I'm just going to copy this chunk of code here and put it in here. And this issue I had myself as well when I started out. I'm not understanding what's going on here. So this is a very fair question. So then what we're going to do is once we paste this chunk of code, we're going to get the chart.js. All right, so I'm going to copy this and then I will put it in here as well. Oh, make sure that the canvas tag can go up. All right, and then we have this. So we have this so far and then I'll put this in a div class and then I'll just give it a chart box, chart box. And then here, another div to nest them in properly. And then what I will do is I will just copy this because I want to have two charts in one on the page. So we're going to put in this. ID must be unique. So we say ID here one. And chart box is the class. That will be fine. So I say here a style tag from somewhere between here. Style. And then we say here uh, class chart box with let's say 600 pixels that would be fine and the reason why i'm doing this is i'm forcing the, the canvas to have a fixed height and width because this here will be ignored eventually i'm going to remove this and this avoids itself that the chart will not scale into infinity all right so once i refresh this we have here first one so let's put in the other ones if i copy this and then i understood that you had one chart that was a, a pie chart and the other one was a bar chart so i'm going to add up another one and then uh, let's make this pie for now. I'm going to remove here the scales. And this one will be a bar chart. So if I save this right now, we only have the pie chart, we don't have the bar chart. Right, as you can see here. Reason why, of course, is we need to connect them with the ID here. We didn't do that yet. So if I connect this, you see here, chart, my chart, the document get element by ID. So if I save this now, a refresh we might have two but if you copy this you think you might have a solution but no this is a mistake there's a mistake in here so I'm going to cover the mistake here right now and this is the fundamentals all right so first of all if we do here the constants this might even show our mistake because the variable can be always renamed or reassigned with new values but a constant is not allowed so let's see if you get here all right you get the error here now and you should use constant instead of the uh, var option so you can see here the identifier ctx has already been declared so here you get already a clear um, indicator of the issue so what is exactly here the issue well basically this here these are constants and you might have this else solved so i can put it at one and here's a my chart here constant this is also of course the same name here let's say this one is one if i save this now if I refresh we only get one again all right so now let, let me explain. So what's going on here? The reason why you have the issue is because you don't understand these two items and how they are in relationship with each other. All right, so let me explain this quickly. So this is the constant, of, this is the context. As we created a constant variable of context and this context equals the doc, document get element by ID, meaning we are looking for a element within this HTML document from top to bottom, search for the chart for the ID name of this this element my chart 
which of course we will find it and you can find it here, or at least the, the browser understands this is the part. So it will grab it from the HTML and, and start to read it in JavaScript. And then it says you get context. All right, this here is easy to understand. Basically, this is related to the canvas tag because with this, it will indicate start drawing in the canvas tag the following piece of code, which is all of this here. However, what is this then? Well, this is what we call a, a global prototype. A global prototype here is related because this is connected with everything within here. And this here is a constant here first, and then we say you create a new chart, basically a new chart, which is the prototype, and the prototype consists of all of these variables here below. And then we say CTX. CTX is a constant. This is not a, a piece of code that you always need to use, but it might look like because in the chart you have document, you see it consistently, but this is basically referred to this. So we have this one here, and this is creating your issue because now it will get the new chart, which is my chart with the same constant here, basically this one here. And if you go down here, we say we want to look for a specific item. And then here, this specific item will be exactly the same as this here above. And then it creates an error because we would, uh, chart here has already draws that specific chart. And then it says, what's going on here? I need to redraw that then I need to update it or something, or do I need to update it? And you have to use different commands, of course, but that's not what you want. You want to draw it, but it doesn't understand which chart you want to draw because of the confusion here. This is correct, this is correct, but the CTX must be matched. So you add this up in here, and now you understand if you save this and refresh, you will have two charts exactly as desired. And even if we've changed the data here, let's put in some values so you can see that this is really different. I'm just making some fictional data. And let's change the colors here. This will be uh, make, make green, fair enough. And then this one as well, there's a solid green. If I save this now, you should see here, two different charts, two different data, and it works accordingly. So this is the core reason why you have it. Just make sure this here, especially this variable here, matches with your constant here that you have. And I would suggest, Instead of variable, use here the constant itself. Chart.js have the documentation. I think they will be updating it soon, but they didn't do that yet. So use constant. It will give you already some idea, but specifically this one here, make sure that this matches with the one you have here. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope you enjoy it. And if you enjoy this video, you probably will enjoy this one as well. And if you're interested in Chart.js, check out in the description box the link directing to my Chart.js course where you can learn everything about Chart.js. And finally, of course, make sure you subscribe to my channel.